Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day and the conversation still continues. Now, one thing that's trending is the issue concerning the CSSPS uh, placements and how parents are just very confused as to what really is happening to our educational system. Now, yesterday, hundreds of parents thronged the Black Star Square to find answers to, of course, their questions and concerning which schools their students or uh, their kids would be placed. And so we have Wendy at the Black Star Square right now interacting with some of them. Let's take a look. Yesterday, there were hundreds and hundreds of parents and their wards here. And officials of the school placement system were actually overwhelmed by the numbers. And eventually, at midday or after midday, the process was halted. But when we got in here this morning, we realized that the numbers have decreased and then there's some form of law and order here we see security personnel here who are managing the situation to ensure that we don't have a situation like yesterday in relation to the numbers it's early days yet to tell if indeed the situation will change or we're going to have more people here i do have um, dsp sule who will be joining me shortly to tell us why they're here today in their numbers and what exactly they're doing to maintain law and order. Good morning, DSP. Good morning. And uh, this morning when I came in, I realized you were moving up and down, trying to give instructions and issue instructions. What are we doing differently today? Um, what happened yesterday was not uh, something good in terms of security. And so we held a meeting with the officials of the school placement. And then uh, we told them the security arrangement we will put in place to ensure that we have a, a successful uh, exercise here. I'm sure we would admit that this could have been prevented as in yesterday's situation. Uh, yes, I would say yes. But the reason is that this exercise started somewhere last year, uh, last week. And the numbers were not this huge. Uh, the reason that accounted for the numbers yesterday, I cannot actually explain. Since last week, we have had police presence here, and the exercise was smooth running. Uh, what accounted, as I said, for the huge numbers yesterday, I can't actually explain. But looking at the situation, we decided to now review the so Was there a backup yesterday? Uh, when, yes, when we, uh, every, exactly. We called, we called, and that is what actually even saved the situation. Because if we had not increased... Uh, uh, I mean, security presence here, uh, we don't know what would have happened. So looking at the situation yesterday, uh, we decided to review the security arrangement for this particular exercise, and that is exactly what we have done today. Uh, we held a meeting with uh, the officials of the school placement and GES, and then um, we have this arrangement. First, they have categorized them. If you look at what happened yesterday, they were just bunched up. And they don't have the same problems. People who are here are here on different uh, issues. So we discussed this issue, and now they have created decks, categorized per whatever they have. So for example, we have a deck for people who scored aggregate six to 10, but did not get any placement or they have some challenges. So they have a deck, they have officers who attend to them. Then we have people who scored aggregate 11 to 20, they have a DEX and they have officers who attend to them. So we have grouped them according to this arrangement. And then we have a DEX for special cases. Some people who have been put maybe school, to the school of the blind when they are not blind or school of the deaf when they are not deaf, they are special cases. And so we have a DEX and we have officers that are attending to them. So if you look around, you realize that the arrangement today, we don't want a situation where they keep standing on their feet. At the end of the day, some of them are very feeble, they are weak. They fall off, and that is what we experienced yesterday when some of them had to be uh, rushed to the hospital. So looking at all that happened yesterday, we have uh, revised the security arrangement, and that is what uh, we are trying to enforce today. So how many men do we have here? Uh, we have uh, sufficient men for this exercise. About how many? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Looking at uh, our plans, we brought in enough men to be able to handle okay. the situation. We're, we're confident to say that this situation won't happen uh, last yesterday's situation won't happen. Oh, you can see. You see, everything is under control. It's according to our plans. And then uh, even us and when people keep coming, all we need to tell them is the various groupings that what is your problem. When we get to know what your problem is, 
then you are directed to the appropriate place. And what we are doing is that we don't want all of them to come and bunch under here. Today, we are not having the exercise at the top there. We are having it down here because of the pressure at the top yesterday. So what we have done is that we have arranged seats here, 20 to every category, and they are sitting in the stands. So when we are done with the first 20 from a particular stand, we go to the stand again, escort the next 20 batch to come and then also have their issues addressed. And this is what we are doing to all the categories. Thank you so much, yeah, DSP Soli. We're grateful. Uh, I do have a father here who is coming all the way from Axim. He's frustrated. He's concerned. He wants answers to the questions. And he wants his child properly placed on the system. Hello, sir. Thank you. Actually, not a very good morning for you. Yeah, it's true. I'm not a happy man at all. What exactly is the problem? My problem is my daughter had Argus 6. And out of the nine subjects, it is only moral, religious and moral studies, she had two. And then BTD, she had two. The rest, French, uh, ICT, integrated, all the this, she had one. And then when they were making the placement, the best two, somebody, they have hacked it. Either they have hacked it or they have changed it. They put BTD, technical drawing, which she had two. And then put Asante tree. There, as the best, as a best two subjects. But French, she had one. ICT, she had one. So that has, should have been the, the, the best two. You see? So I could see that that has weakened her result. That is why you could not get placement. And she took uh, Wesley Gates High School first, St. Monica, St. Mampon second, Wesley Gates, Kumasi third, and then Kumasi High fourth. And then Notre Dame Senior High, because I'm at Sunyanu West, which is Fairpre area. And then when they went and put here at uh, Sunyani East, that is uh, Sunyani Senior High, which I have to spend 10 series or 8 series every day. And if she were closer, how much would you have spent? That means uh, 8 series a, a day, times the number of times you attend the school. You calculate it, excluding food. So I suspect that somebody has hacked the, the system because the best two should not be the uh, BTD and then Ascentry. The best two should be ICT and then French. It has been wrongly placed. Wrongly well. placed at a, a school. You see, the school that she did not choose, that's where they have placed her. And she's crying all day. She's crying since then. And her raw max is 527 out of 600. So I don't understand why a girl of 15 years you should be forced to her like that. Today you will go through the process and um, definitely there, there should be a change or a correction and, and, and in then the system for you. I, I asked my wife to go to the regional center. She went there with the child and joined the queue. And when it got the attend at the director, regional, whole regional director, she looked at the results and said, I said, I could have a pass you. And I said, I'm school. The whole regional director could not do anything about it. Then I have to forward it, follow up here. Thank you, Seb. Now, I quickly, quickly will speak to a father who's also been waiting to speak to us. And um, what exactly is the problem? Yeah, my issue is that my son uh, was placed at uh, Benkum Senior High. And then uh, we went to the school last week to confirm. We got there, and then his name could not be found on the notice board. And so we approached the uh, teachers, and then we were asked to come to the uh, Blaster Square, so that his name will be computerized and then sent to the school. And then again, he was also given a day status instead of boarding, because we live in Accra here, and then he cannot travel from Accra to uh, Latte every day, or else then it means that we need to look for accommodation elsewhere for him. And this is a boy about 14, 15 years, which of course I cannot allow him to go to that, that, that place. Uh -huh. So that is why we are here. Yesterday we got there very early, but the whole place was jammed up, nothing was in order, and so they could not help us. So you're satisfied with the process today? For today, yes. Right. For today, yes, because we've been categorized, and so we are just hoping that when we get to the decks, at least we will be attended to. All right. Well, thank you so much. I have been speaking to some parents, and my colleague Armstrong was also here last night. He came in very early this morning as well. Armstrong, your observations? You know, so last night I had a hard calls uh, from some people and uh, telling me that they have, so we have some of these people sleeping here. So I decided to come and have a look for myself. And I got here around um, somewhere 2 a.m. And I saw so many 
uh, student sleeping here, you know, and somewhere in the middle of the night, it rained. And you need to see how they were rushing to get shelter. Some of them were going to right under that thing just to sleep there. And I was just looking at the situation and I asked myself, so why should we get here or how did we get here? And the situation during the night is very bad. I don't know whether maybe authorities want to put some canopies or anything here for uh, that is for some temporal solution so that those who want to sleep here will sleep and probably have something covering their head. But what I saw here last night was very bad and I think authorities have to, if they are allowing the students to sleep here, then they have to put some kind of canopy here so that they'll be protected. Well, thank you very much, Armstrong. And um, yesterday, I did see the ambulance um, here. That's from the ambulance service, that's a national ambulance service. A mother collapsed, another person also collapsed. But this morning, there's actually one ambulance on standby should something go wrong. So coming to you live from the Black Star Square, we'll bring you some more updates as and when we do have them. Wendy Lai, over to you in the studio. Thank you so much, Wendy. And that's actually very heartbreaking. But we hope that uh, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll be able to find solutions for all the people who have been left stranded. Anyumadu says, I pity the men handling PR for the education ministry, Annabelle Rodney and Vincent Eko Asifua. They are very good. But to be honest, the CSSP has rendered a mess this time around for them to clean. Some heads must roll. And Adai says that I doubt there's any improvement uh, in this CSSP as after 14 years. OK. and. Um, um, the computerized school selection and placement is different from the free SHS policy. Uh, the encumbrances on CSSPS didn't start in 2019. It's been there since 2005. And so we need to discuss and find a solution to it. Later on, we'll be speaking to the national head of the Parent Teachers Association of Ghana uh, to throw more light on this issue and the way forward.